searching for a storage bin? We chose 11 of the most promising storage options in 2021 for side-by-side -side testing to find the very best. We packed them with blankets, clothes, and books, tumbled them down the stairs, stacked them in the garage, and used a hose to determine weatherproof capabilities. Leaving no bin unturned, we measured every contender, checked their stackability, and toted them while fully loaded. Whether you need a burly bin for your truck bed tools or a delicate fabric cube to blend into your living room decor, we can help you find the perfect option. The first product on our list is Iris WeatherTight Multipurpose Storage Box. The Iris WeatherTight is our favorite storage bin for nearly any organizational need. We've been using this bin for years, organizing office supplies, medical supplies, keepsakes, and holiday decorations. The numerous latches all around the lid provide a secure fit and seal, keeping contents safe. With nearly straight sides and interlocking lids and bottoms, they're easy to stack and easy to fill with just about anything. The 26.5 quad size we tested is one of our favorite sizes as well, it's large enough to fit a lot of items while still small enough to allow finding little things manageable. As with any storage container made from polypropylene plastic, spoiler alert, most of them are, the weather tight isn't meant to take the cold. Temperatures below freezing make it brittle and prone to cracking, not great for garage, attic, or vehicle storage. These are also a bit on the expensive side comparatively, but we think their strength, superb latches, and impressive usability at every size make them absolutely worth it. The next product on our list is Iris USA Stack and Pull Box. Another offering from Iris, the stack and pull boxes are a bit less expensive and a pretty solid value item. These bins are opaque enough to hide the details of the potential mess contained within while still allowing enough to come through that you can easily find what you're looking for. While the design is simple, they is still an over-the-top latch on each end for added security. We tested the handy 32 quad size, but it's also available in many other sizes and shapes. However, these bins lack a bit of oomph when it comes to stability. The sides are rather flexible and bow outward when overstuffed, which we managed to do with just three throw blankets. The latches also pop off frequently and unexpectedly during regular use. We had no problems popping them right back on, but we'd prefer for them just to stay put. Still, if you have a lot of stuff to store and need to adhere to a budget, the stack and pull bins are a pretty good option. The next product is simple houseware foldable cubes. There are plenty of seemingly alike collapsible fabric bins out there, but not all of them are as friendly on the wallet as the simple houseware foldable cubes. These budget-friendly fabric boxes easily fold up when you want to collapse them, and they are attached on the inside to prevent you from losing pieces. Accent fabric around the rim adds just a touch of glossiness that many competitors don't offer, and they come in a plethora of colors. And though we have a hard time using the word sturdy when talking about a fabric-covered cardboard bin, these are pretty solid for what they are. Of course, an important factor for most fabric cubes is making sure they fit in the space you have. We measured these to help you figure that out more easily, but we found them to be a bit on the small size for anywhere other than a specific cube storage system. And if you're hoping to store a bunch of books or stacks of magazines, these flimsy cardboard lined boxes just aren't up to the task. But if they fit in your cuboid slot and you're ready to store some mittens, shoes, or puzzles, the price of the simple houseware cubes is ideal for a decent performance. The next product in our list is Rubbermaid Clevistore Stackable. If you've come here with the goal of finding the best bin for maximizing your under the bed storage space, you've found it. The Rubbermaid Clevistore is the right height for sliding under a bed or perhaps a tall couch. However, this little box goes beyond the basics to be impressively useful, with its clear lid, making it easy to see if what you need is inside, and snap-on latches to keep the lid in place. Rather than being super long and skinny, like some others, this bin combines the perfect length and width for most people. On top of that, two of these boxes fit perfectly end-to-end -end under a queen-sized bed, allowing us to fit a total of six bins underneath. The perks don't stop there, though, as the name implies, these containers are also shaped to stack one on top of another. And more bins are better because the long length of this lid and its two latches on far ends means it can easily bow upward if overstuffed. The latches aren't the best either. Not only are they a bit thin and flimsy compared to some beefier models, but they are an odd crescent shape that allows the corners of each latch to easily catch on the lid, making it a bit more difficult to snap close. But with a little practice, this is simple to overlook, and we think these are the best option for keeping under a bed or in the bottom of a closet. The next product is Rubbermaid Action Packer. The Rubbermaid Action Packer is built for weathering just about anything you could expect to put a plastic box through, and it does it well. Made of high-density polyethylene, 
This storage bin can handle the cold temperatures of your garage or a truck bed on the open road. It features lockable latches and comes in a few very useful sizes. It's an efficient shape for stacking several side by side on a shelf in the shed, maximizing internal space while minimizing external frills. It's also one of the only bins we tested without an indent in the lid that might collect rainwater if left out in the elements. Of course, that non-indented lid makes this bin a bit hotter to stack, but we think the trade-off is well worth it for such a large container. We had some difficulty using the lockable portion of the latches, but after a bit of investigation, we found that a travel lock, a standard design monster lock, or a locker-style combination lock will all do the trick. The inside lip of this bin is a bit unfinished and shop, the handles aren't quite as deep as we'd like, and it's quite expensive, but if you need a serious storage bin that can handle just about anything, the Action Packer is the box for you. The next product in our list is Prandom Lodge Collapsible Storage Bins. If you're hunting for a moderately sized storage bin to help you organize right out in the open, the Prandom bins are our top choice. Though they have the same fabric over cardboard construction as pretty much every other fabric box out there, these are cleanly constructed of attractive materials that manage to look impressively professional. Thanks to their functional lids, they can easily stack in a closet or corner of the room, and the simple metal lined handles don't waste any space. We wouldn't recommend using them to carry textbooks around, but they had no problem when full of shoes or baud games during our testing. The handles are placed on the long sides of the bin, which we can't decide if we love or hate as it's a bit more awkward to carry. Still, we appreciate the simplicity of the handle design, though if you fill your bin with rigid items, you won't have any space left to slide your hand into that handle. These also have limited color options, sticking mostly with subdued neutral tones as they are more expensive than many others. But overall, we think the price is worth it for their performance and appearance. The next product is Sterilite Gasket Box with Latches. Though it didn't win any awards this time, the Sterilite Gasket Box was the second highest scoring in our review. Like the Iris Weathertight, the gasket box is sturdy, with easy-to-use latches that snap into place and a seal to keep contents confidently safe. The 20 quart size we tested proved to be a great option for everything from small craft supplies to heavy magazines. Sterilite also makes several other size options to fit whatever you're trying to store. As with any polypropylene bin, the gasket box becomes brittle in temperatures below freezing and can easily break. It also comes in a tall, narrow configuration that isn't quite as versatile as long, low boxes. But if this brand has the size you need, we think their performance is genuinely silver metal worthy. The next product is Homs Tough Dewer Built Tote Box. This thick, Sturdy bin is a solid budget choice for rugged protection in trying conditions. Made of high-density polyethylene, the Homs Tough Dewer built is ready to take on both hot and cold temperatures. The oversized lip and lid offer excellent protection, while simple pressure latches allow for easy removal, after a bit of a learning curve, that is, pull the sides of the latch points out away from the bin while pressing down on the top with your thumbs. Strategic holes around the top let you add zip ties for an extra level of security during transit or long-term storage. However, if space in your storage shed is at a premium, the Dewar built might not be the best. The oversized lid is excessively wide, leaving a lot of wasted space between bins stawed side by side. If stacked, though, they sit beautifully in a tower because of the very deep lid. On the flip side, if you're keeping them out where they are exposed to the elements, that deep lid can quickly become a collection tray for rainwater and breeding insects. But if the shape is right for your space, this robust bin is a good value buy. The next product in our list is Hom Snaplock Clear Storage Bin. The Hom Snaplock is a long and low bin that slides under any piece of furniture with more than 6.2 inches of clearance. It's a very narrow bin that we don't like quite as much as the Rubbermaid Clevistor. We can't quite fit two rows of sweaters inside, and its slender dimensions are less adaptable to the many spaces in which you might want to put it. However, it is a simple bin that works well with the right contents and offers a solid value if you're in the market for this style. If you tend to overfill things or are hoping to store bulky items, like bedding or winter clothing, the snap lock might not be the best. Two pressure latches hold either end down, leaving plenty of space along the long edges for both the sides to bow outward and the lid to bow upward, exposing the contents. It also has awkward handles that pinch your fingers on an already difficult to carry, super long bin. When using multiple bins, having an opaque lid also means you'll have to look inside to see the contents rather than knowing before you start digging. We think this design leaves a bit to be desired but can still be a pretty good buy for your space if packed right. The next product is Storage Works Decorative Storage Boxes. 
The StorageWorks decorative boxes are exactly how they seem. They offer the familiar fabric covering cardboard construction and an interesting aesthetic that might be exactly what you're looking for. Their rope handles come unattached, allowing you to choose the length that works best for you, or leave them off entirely. Deep lids stay in place well and make these storage bins impressively stackable. Oddly, the lids are also collapsible, leaving them with weak corners that fold inward every time the lid is lifted off the body and making it a more cumbersome endeavor to put them back on. Ours also had some rather untidy construction, with edges showing and sloppy seam endings. And if you are trying to maximize space, the lodge knots needed to keep the rope handles in place take up a lot of room inside the box. But if you are willing to make a few sacrifices for the sake of the design, we do appreciate their aesthetic value. The next product in our list is Amazon Basics Collapsible Fabric Storage Cubes. The Amazon Basics Storage Cubes are pretty standard for collapsible fabric boxes. They're simple and straightforward, working exactly as you'd expect from a collapsible cardboard box covered in fabric. Helpfully, they're also inexpensive, making it easier to organize your home on a budget. Yet compared to similar fabric cubes, these aren't our favorite. They are unimpressive in their construction and materials with sloppy seams, loose ends, and a feeling that doesn't inspire confidence in their ability to hold up to years of use. They also don't come in as many colors as other options, though they may still be offered in a color that works for your home without spending very much. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.